All right, we have one more example of substitution for our project. Uh, one day, Jesse made fun of Savannah for playing golf, so she told Jesse to come to the golf range. Later that day at the range, Savannah told Jesse to stand in the field. She then started consistently hitting golf balls at Jesse at 40 meters per second, hitting them at 80 meters away. How long is the ball in the air, and what is the acceleration of the ball? We'll start finding this out by once again doing substitution. You already know what VF, VI, A, and T, and D stand for. But now we'll just start off. All right. For this first equation, we're going to be using the D equals half of VF plus VI times T. Since 80 meters was the distance from Savannah to me, that is what we'll be using for the distance. <laughs> 40 plus 0 is going to be the velocity, 0 being because the ball was hit from when it was standing still. You're going to take 80 divided by 20, and you're going to get a final time of 4 seconds. Once you find the 4 seconds, you're going to plug that into the VF equals VI plus A times T. You get 40 equals 4A divided by 4, and the acceleration of the golf ball is 10 meters per second. Isn't that damn magical?